So, the 2023 Grand National uh, Aintree race course just outside Liverpool, one of the greatest races in the world. We attended this race meeting on Saturday, 15th of April. But what was it like? Did we win? And would we recommend a visit to Aintree for the Grand National? It was a glorious sunny day. And here is how we got on. It's Grand National Saturday. It's Saturday, 15th of April. So, so excited. Here we are at Aintree, just outside Liverpool, the glorious city of Liverpool. It's a glorious, glorious sunny day. How confident are you today, Michelle? Not very. I'm, I'm uh, reasonably confident. Delta work, vanilla, Mr. Coffee, and a couple of small eatways on uh, Cloudy Glen and Enjoy Dallin. But the main bets today are Delta work and vanilla. Fingers crossed. It's going to be a great day. First race is about an hour and a half away. Seven races, the big one at 5.15. This course is absolutely glorious. It's a glorious sunny day. I keep using the word glorious. Let's use a different word. Have you got a different word? Amazing, amazing. Fabulous. Let's hope. Fabulous, brilliant. fabulous, brilliant. Everything about today hopefully will be brilliant. Astounding. Astounding, astounding. That's a good one. Astounding. <laughs> no more fabulouses. Anyway, let's see what happens. Outstanding. Outstanding. <laughs> Right, anyway, cheers. Cheers. Here's to a win. Here's to a win. Good luck all. Red Rum Garden. The centre of the Red Rum Garden. Got loads of stuff in here, got a random horse in the background there, got loads of food over there, four whole farm grilled burgers over there, tobacco kiosk just there, more merchandise over there, stands at the back there. We then moved into this little area, there's a live DJ playing, lots going on in here, very lively atmosphere here, everybody having a good time, really good little uh, vibe in here. And of course, a statue of the infamous Red Rum. What a horse this was. And of course, I had to get a picture next to the statue of Red Rum. Interesting uh, looking pose I've got here. My hand looks absolutely giant for some reason, uh, some unexplainable reason. <laughs> so we ended up watching this band quite a bit. Really, really good fun. They were at it all day. I think we started watching them around 11, 30, 12 o'clock and we were still going at 3.30 when we saw them again. Uh, amazing uh, effort from these guys. Really, really good fun to see them. You love them? Yeah. Favourite new band? Yeah. Eh? Amazing. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, they're amazing, aren't they? Here we are at the parade ring. Waiting for the first race and we're taking on John Bon in this first race. We're backing against John Bon. Uh, John Bon is one to five and he probably will win but I don't know, I've never had a good time on John Bon before so I'm going to take him on again on the first race. on to pink gin from gin and ginger I remain on the Guinness pink gin lemonade nice and inside this building we've got live music there in the distance huge building inside there tote facilities bar William Hill facilities big screens everything you could possibly want inside this giant dome like structure just next to the course magnificent Chamberlain, Ed Chamberlain from ITV Racing there, starting his presenting duties for the day. Busy day for him today. 
very busy. Couple of runners. The spoils. Next race, the entry handicap 225 are on Mexico and the shell selection is Pounding Poet. Pounding Poet. 50 to 1 Pounding Poet. Mexico now 6 to 1. I got 15 to 2 yesterday. Seven places pay. Cross our fingers, cross our toes. 225 entry. Let's go. Second place. Well done. Well done, Michelle. Pounding boat, second place. 50 to 1. Well, well done, Michelle. Good selection. Second, Street food, burger and fries, chicken and fries. Ba ba ba. Cornish pasties, hog roast. Goes on as far as the eyes can see. Street food everywhere. And official merchandise over there. It's time. Some cheesy pig. Cheesy pig, Michelle. What have we got there? Mac and cheese fries. Mac and cheese fries? Are they good? Really good. I've just got bacon fries with some baconese sauce in it. You're enjoying them, aren't you? Best macaroni and cheese you've ever had. Good grief. Had a race course. Incredible. Are you confident about this race? No, really? No. How come? No, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it. Not feeling Too warm it. in your jacket. Yeah. Boiling. Scorching. But that's like when I take it off, I get some burn. So. Yeah, that is true. You will get burned immediately. My ear feels like it's burning. It is. Does it look like it's it is? Red. Is it? So after enjoying that really nice food from the Cheesy Pig, we then watched the 3.35 race and the 4.15 race. It was absolutely scorching at this point, uh, especially in a couple of layers. Really, the sunshine was hot. We didn't have any success in these race, races, but we were still happy because we were enjoying the day, a few drinks, and we were ready for the big race, the Grand National which was all set to start at 5.15 p.m. 40, 45 minutes to go until the Grand National. Mr. Coffee, Delta work, Vanillier. So after a short delay and a bit of a full start, as is traditional for the Grand National, the 175th Grand National got underway in the glorious sunshine and at one point really thought Mr. Coffee was gonna do it he was holding on there for quite some time number 29 up there throughout the duration and just tailed off right at the end but this guy Korok or Korak or Koroch Rambler however you pronounce it congratulations if you backed him great ride following up on a brilliant Cheltenham success Brilliant performance. Slightly disappointing we have Vanillier in second place, but it was a great day. Second place, second place, second place. Vanillier, great run. Great run, can't complain about that. So that was the 2023 Grand National. Great day out at Aintree. Uh, but I must say one thing, really uh, sad news with Hill 16 dying after falling at the first fence. Condolences to anyone involved with that horse, all the connections. It is always really sad to see any horse uh, get injured or, or die and as part of uh, horse racing. And I think as horse racing fans, I think we all uh, accept that uh, that the most important, we all know that the most important thing is the safety of horses and jockeys and any incidents are always really sad. Uh, On to the actual race itself, Vanillier, 
almost did the trick for us. Couldn't quite get there in time. It was a great ride by Sean Flanagan. Um, elsewhere, Delta Work, unfortunately brought down. Was going along really nicely. I actually thought it was going along better than most of the horses that were left. But unfortunately got nudged into by another horse on landing, which knocked off the jockey, unseated the rider, I'm afraid. The Delta just didn't have the, the luck that we needed on the day. Elsewhere, Mr. Coffee, incredible ride, led for large parts of the National, but unfortunately just tied up towards the end. Bit of a bad jump at the last as well, didn't help things. And several other horses past Mr. Coffee, in fact, seven other horses to be precise, past Mr. Coffee, which means that we just lose out on a place. Mr. Coffee finishing in eighth and then top seven paid in terms of placing, certainly where we had our money on. But it was a very dramatic race. I it was a fun day out. I didn't quite enjoy it as much as Cheltenham, but still a very enjoyable experience. Very, very nice track, very friendly uh, place to be. Uh, queues for the bar, pretty short, expensive drinks, but you kind of expect that at these big events. Great bit of live music, dotted around, glorious weather, keep using that word glorious. Um, and that will be the end of the chub racing season, more or less. There's a Scottish Grand National next weekend. But aside from that, it's pretty much on to the flats action next, which we're very much looking forward to. So congratulations once again if you got the winner in the national and congratulations if you got any horse placed because it's a, a tricky race in fact and if you didn't well next year will come around soon enough and there'll be more racing to look forward to this summer on the flat so take care all hope you enjoyed that and catch you again soon